Peace and Black Power family, oh, you already know what it is. This is your brother Sarnetta, and I'm at the Phil Valentine Lecture Backstage Alumni. You know what is going down. Yo, we got a lot of powerful, powerful brothers and sisters in the building, and I'm going to tell you, it was a powerful and successful event. We t- Phil Valentine returned to Brooklyn, New York. Yo, check this out, family. The backstage is crazy. It was going down. No hoes barred, of course. Hey, let me give you some of the people who was there in attendance, okay? We had brothers like Herman Smalls, of course, Ashanti, brother, Captain Tazoria, brother Joel, Sister Gail Armstead, Baba Seville in the building, the Red Pill, yeah! And we got Dr. Ann Brown, Tahar RBG in the building, the Black Dot, the infamous Black Dot, Doggy Diamonds, King Simon, brother Tafik, the blue pill in the building, Pharonic is also here with us, Herman Smalls, and of course your goddamn host, brother, Sa Netta. This is Black News 102, make no mistake about it, and I was there to capture it all. Let's bring it to you, Phil Valentine Backstage Alumni. Peace and Black Power family. Uh, we are down in Brooklyn, getting ready to take part in one of the major events uh, by our good brother, King Simon. King Simon Production, uh, social media is in the house. Uh, the pills are in the house. Uh, we got a, just a full house of our uh, Conscious Community alumni. We have one of those brothers in the alumni uh, that's gonna come and grace us with his knowledge on um, firearms and a proper way to employ these uh, different devices, how to use them, what are the different ramifications uh, when you decide to take upon what is your right, uh, the desire to arm yourself. Yes, it is a constitutional right. And I know debates go back and forth and whatever side of debate you on, that won't be dealt with in this show. Right now we're gonna deal with the knowledge about weaponry and um, where you could go to a qualified expert. And one, what makes an expert qualified? Uh, so without further ado, I'm gonna get ready to bring Brother Ashante on. Now, when you meet him, many of you are probably already aware of his daughter and her exploits academically, uh, poetry, spoken word, um, and just all around, just wonderful young sister that we've been so connected to because she's been uh, just in, in, in front of us and we watch her grow. But so we're going to speak to the man who uh, molded and guided her in. So without any further ado, Got brother Ashante. Peace, brother. peace, peace. How are you? How are you today? Fine, thank you, soldier. How are you doing? I'm doing well. So I gave them the intro. I, I told them, you know, we have the conscious community alumni here, mm-hmm. and uh, among the alumni, we got a brother that, if you want to know anything related to firearms, how to prepare, how to deploy them, uh, that you are the brother to speak to. So you have events coming up. This is our opportunity just to hear your philosophy and just let us know how we can support you. Well. Basically, it's not a philosophy, it's not a necessity, Mm -hmm. actually, that um, facilitated this whole shift Mm -hmm. in how I've been moving, Mm because like like you said, a lot of people know that I work with my daughter, I work with my man Q, Mm -hmm. you know, I'm a part of that whole school in peace and everything like that, but Mm -hmm. the point I'm trying to make is out of necessity, brother, we've been deceived and we have been duped into believing that um, our rights to carry guns here in America, period, um, is hinged upon um, the misnomers and the uh, stereotypes of how we as a people carry ourselves with weapons. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I believe that this whole policy about giving the young man and arresting him and he's coming right out of his first arrest is with a felony mm-hmm. or a violent misdemeanor, which forbids him from ever owning a firearm. Mm. So you have to understand that there's a deeper game that has been played upon mm-hmm. us in the community in reference to our um, gun ownership. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so um, I've been associating myself with gun owners right. and you know versing myself in the whole education about firearms. Mm-hmm. And I'm starting to discover a lot of things that um, we need to know out here in our community, bro. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, thank you for even breaking it down. You just shared something that I didn't know. Let me see if I heard it correctly. So if a person is convicted of a felony mm-hmm. for life, they can never own a firearm? Yes, and especially here in New York City because um, you cannot have your felony exam.
Honorary, um, what is it, expunged, mm. nor can it be sealed. So it's for life. But so you need to either get on um, what they call a certificate of relief of, li of disabilities, or you need to get a flat out pardon from the governor here in New York City. Mm. And both of which we have been, you know, pulling the strings on finding more information about that. Interesting, person. interesting. Okay, so thanks for clearing that up. So again, there's so much information that is not known related to weaponry. Who is the average individual that you think? Uh, is in need the most of having a firearm either for personal security or for, for residential security. Wh who is the candidate and who should pursue it? I think um, um, everyone should pursue it. I mean, what this situation is, but there's a right way and there's a wrong way mm. to go about mm. how we got to do this. And I think that the right way is to go about, and I mean, again, you know, licensing is being asked permission. However, being pulled over with a firearm and not having a permit is a mandatory three to five year sentence. Mm. However, if you have your gun permit and they pull you over and you within whatever, you they're gonna check your shit and you're just gonna walk, brother. You're good. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, I, I just think that uh, proper understanding, proper handling, and proper knowledge is the way to go. And that's what Fitness Fuel and Fire is about. That's what Fitness Fuel and Fire offers. Mm -hmm. And training with Fitness Fuel and Fire in our NRA classes, we, we enlighten the people on yes. all aspects yes. of gun ownership. So yes. I'm talking about the laws, mm -hmm. I'm talking about the traps, yes. I'm talking about the insurance that's necessary mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. a gun owner, mm -hmm. I'm talking about the soup to nuts that's necessary, exactly. not the stereotypical. Mm -hmm. um, so so who is the candidate? Who is in need of, mm -hmm. and I, I know you probably say everybody, mm -hmm. but there has to be a priority of a person who really needs to get going on securing well, a well, firearm. Again, um, I would have to say any man or woman that doesn't have a felony or violent I'm um, charged on their records I think it's here for you all you have to do is just take the class I think um, the businesswoman that woman that works in a law firm that nurse that doctor that cab driver I I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm advocating um, gun ownership it is what it is for me I'm not talking about that um, the way that society has portrayed um, that whole movement that's not what I'm advocating mm -hmm. again I'm advocating proper ownership proper training okay and that's what I do. Mm -hmm. But I also want to point out to you, brother, the um, opportunities that the youth in our community have from various scholarships mm -hmm. that um, we have or different organizations offer for shooting scholarships, man. They offer four, four years scholarships, shooting scholarships at various colleges. And all we have to do is sit down with Fitness, Fuel, and Fire and we can bring these things out. It's the strangest thing, brother, and us and our community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's amazing. I didn't know that. And even the flyer you have in your hand now is for your event coming up. Do you want to give some pointers about that for anybody who's interested in attending your most? Uh, um, well, yeah, we'll be doing a um, Fitness Fuel and Fire. We'll be doing a series of events, brother, um, around the country now that we are um, mm -hmm. networking. We'll be doing um, NRA certification classes. Mm -hmm. D.C., Philly, um, we're coming to Brooklyn, we'll be in Atlanta, mm -hmm. I think we're going to Tacoma, Washington, and mm -hmm. I believe we'll be in Michigan. Mm. And, um, and I think dates and places are being added, but the point I'm trying to make is, brother, we're going to be bringing um, the proper information to the people, right. and um, if you really want to get in contact with us and take our class, because I know you've taken the yes, class already, exactly. brother, and I've um, blessed you with your certificate. Yes, so, um, yes. You might want to get with Fitness Fuel and Fire. We're on Facebook, or you can holler at us, Fitness Fuel and Fire, at 646-481-9787. Uh, mm -hmm. And we cover all from the soup to nuts, anything with proper. And I want to stress to you and the NSA, FBI, and anybody else with Homeland Security, I want you to know I'm certified legal, and we're going to do it the proper way. No underground business, and we're going to edify the masses on the proper way to go about getting their paperwork, mm -hmm. and we're going to edify the masses on the proper way to shoot, mm -hmm. and we're going, to, we're going to take the stigma and the mystique that has been put around this whole gun ownership thing, mm -hmm. and we're going to change that. Fitness, Fuel, and Fire for life. Yes, yes. In, in full disclosure, I had the opportunity, you know, to sit at the feet of the Grandmaster, and they break it down from beginning to end, uh, how to handle it, how to maintain it. Because once you get it, you got to maintain it, especially if you get into the range, you're firing, you got to keep your weapon clean. Uh, they, the, the knowledge I got about the weapon game from this brother here still is with me to this day. The paperwork, all all the things you need will be provided in step-by-step -step instructions on how to get it done. And, and just a little FYI, brother, when we do public speaking and things like this, we don't refer 
to the gun as a weapon because there's a whole stigma tied to the madness. Okay, okay. But but it's just a little FYI. And these are the little things that we don't know and some of the things here. I want to give one question and then I'm going to be out of here. I want to put this on the mind of the people. And this is for the ones, for the shatas, all right, that hasn't registered their weapons, mm. but you do drive around with your weapon. And I want you to think about this one, okay? Mm. All right. You're driving in your car. You got your seatbelt on and your strong hand is your right hand. Okay, but you got your weapon on your right side. You got your seatbelt across your weapon. Someone comes to your car door. How do you get you to your weapon? I want you to marinate on that. And I want you to holler at me mm. at Fitness Fuel and Fire at 646-481-9787. You think about that one. Right, and the answer could be literally a matter of life and death. So now, but hold up now before you go. Now, I use weapon and you, you know, rightfully so, chastise a brother, but you use weapon too. So what is the proper terminology to take away the stigma? How do you refer to that, to that tool? My gun. My gun. Okay, from here forward, it is my gun. You know, or a firearm. Or a firearm. You know, but weapon itself weapon speaks itself to speaks to something harm or damage and stuff like that. Or, okay. Know. But again, I am call it as you wish. You know, I'm, I'm just saying that there's a proper way and a proper language that it's necessary for this game, you know, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, you know, come NRA, they've changed the rules. I do want to stress this to you, mm. that you will have to go online now when you come to the class. The mm -hmm. NRA now has a phase one program that they've implemented, right? You'll have to go online and do an online class. And once you do it, right, you'll print out a certificate. And then you have to bring that certificate to me. Mm. And then once you bring that certificate to me, then that's when you're permitted to come into the class. Yeah, so there's yeah. a lot of things, but I would like to do another sit down, man, and we okay. can really, really, really break it down yes, because yes. you know um, I know you got a lot going on yes, here. Yes, yes, and you know, and I'm all over the place right now. Okay, okay. but if if you would like, I'll be welcome to come back, sign at the TV. I'll sit down with you, and we can really, really chop it up, brother. Herman. Without question, you will be back. Thank You're going to bring that knowledge. So again, he gave that question, guys. Ponder it. Remember, he gave his contact. So how you get out of that situation? <laughs> Seatbelt, weapon <laughs> on the right it. side, and brother thank you for all the work you do in the community love you. Love you. thank you for gifting us with your great daughter thank and you. she's opened her eyes with, with her spoken word and everything thank you